from Duchess's bridal florals to Princess Kate's bow-adorned appearance. June has been an incredible month of royal style. Between Princess Kate's highly anticipated return to public life and Royal Ascot providing endless royal appearances, we can hardly keep up with all the most enviable styles of them all. Venturing into Europe will also lead you down a rabbit hole of impeccable style with Princess Charlene's white lace jumpsuit and Queen Letizia's satin slip dress taking the top spots. The Princess of Wales, 42, paid a special tribute to her military role as the Colonel of the Irish Guards when she made a welcomed appearance at Trooping the Colour on the 15th of June. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Kate pinned her Irish Guards regimental brooch to a bespoke black and white bow adorned Jenny Packham dress which was teamed with white stilettos from Jimmy Choo, a mulberry black clutch, and a breathtaking Philip Tracy hat that had her looking like Princess Diana. The Duchess of Edinburgh, 59, has rocked an array of stylish looks this month, the best of which being her royal ascot look from 19 June. Sophie dazzled in a daisy adorned dress from Susanna London dress which was teamed with a pair of strappy white heels from Emmy London and a hat from Jane Taylor. She wore the angelic bright white hue for a day at the races which fell on her 25th wedding anniversary to Prince Edward. She wowed the week before at trooping the colour in a sunshine yellow number from Beulah London. Princess Eugenie, 34, was a dream in mint green at Royal Ascot. The royal stunned in the Mallory dress from Diane von Furstenberg which featured a halter neck, floaty skirt, and tailored waistline. Her unexpected gown was teamed with Meghan Markle's favorite Aquazura bowtie pumps, a large pale pink rose hairpiece, and a cream Anya Hindmarch clutch bag. It appears green is the color of the month for Eugenie as she also wowed in sage at the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Westminster on the 7th of June. Princess Beatrice, was so elegant in her Aunt Duchess Sophie's Zimmerman dress at Royal Ascot. The matchmaker linen and silk dress in coral hibiscus dress which Sophie wore to the Order of the Garter Service was teamed with the flower strass buckle clutch from Roger Vivier and the floral headband from Juliet Millinery. She cut a more casual figure earlier in the month when had a two-look day to the Can Lions Festival. We loved her peach wrap dress from Sandro which was teamed with flats from pretty ballerinas. Zara Tyndall, 43, is always one to watch when it comes to race day fashion and Royal Ascot 2024 is no exception. She started off strong with a buttermilk yellow look from Laura Green, but we couldn't get enough of her pastel pink floral look from Anna Mason which had puffed long sleeves. As always, Zara rocked chic headpieces opting for a Juliet millinery piece to accompany her Mordania Hindmarch clutch and Emmy London heels. Queen Camilla, 76, looked serene in pale sage green at trooping the color. She opted for a frayed hem Anna Valentine coat and dress ensemble with the addition of a splendid Philip Tracy hat. Camilla even wore white gloves for the occasion. The king's wife also led the way in style on day one of Royal Ascot in this royal blue ensemble from Fiona Clare which was enhanced by the breathtakingly beautiful diamond and sapphire brooch from Prince Albert's collection. The Duchess of York, 64, chose a supremely paired back look for Royal Ascot on the 19th of June. Sarah Ferguson was seen in a black floaty dress with the timeless Kensington knit blazer from Veronica Beard over the top. She rounded off her look with the mini briefcase bag in royal portrait black with gold hardware from Ethan Kay and a black hat.